So I want to take this time uh, to talk to you guys a little bit, give you guys some uh, some heads up behind the scenes stuff that went on. Uh, you guys saw what went on kind of on on stage on Friday and Saturday nights, and uh, you guys just get to see the pictures and the videos online. But um, what I want to talk about a little bit is uh, what I had to go through to get there. I was feeling real good the week leading up to the Mr. Olympia. Um, got it together on Friday, got to the show. Um, everything was going as planned. I felt great, actually, uh, coming out um, when I first came out on stage for the individual. And I noticed, you know, as I started posing a little bit, I was feeling a little tired. And uh, I still felt on point, though. You know, I was getting the, the crowd's uh, applause, and I felt real strong. And I, I came back out, and, you know, everyone when I took my clothes off backstage, they said, wow, you know, you've got another one in. This is, you know, this is the winner right here. So... I came off stage, uh, waited for the comparisons, and as I got into the comparison rounds, you know, I, I slowly started to feel weaker and weaker as I hit poses. Um, I really wasn't sure what it was. I was, you know, getting very, very short of breath. And when they pulled us off between rounds, between comparisons, and started comparing some of the other guys that were out of the top six, I noticed I was just hanging on the rail and feeling very, very weak. And there was actually certain points where I'm like, wow, I don't even know if I can go through, do this again and go through more comparisons because I know they wanted to compare us and give us fair chance. And I know, you know, Phil and, and Branch and Dex are all looking great up there and feeling great. And, I, and my energy was just very, very little, and I was just trying to do the best I could to get through. And I know when I got off stage after the, the prejudge was over, you know, I, I basically kind of held myself as I walked down the stairs, and my legs just started to get really, really weak. And I really wasn't, I'd say, cramping, but my legs were just very stiff. And when I moved to the back of the back of the uh, auditorium, and I laid down, I sipped a little bit on some Gatorade, and, I, you know, my friend came back, and he said, you okay? I said, I just need to lay here for a few minutes. Well, a few minutes turned into about 45 minutes, and that time... I mean, everyone came over to me like, you okay, you okay, because I wasn't moving, and I was just feeling really weak, and and finally, I, I just, you know, I, I had to get off the floor, I had to try to go home, and I, as I got off, I, I really, my body just couldn't function, it just, everything just seemed frozen, so I was like, wow, I must be really dehydrated, so I had to make sure I drank a little bit, and uh, I had my friends kind of carry me out of the auditorium, and I even pushed away... Uh, a muscular development inter interview, you won't see anything from after Friday's prejudging because I just was so weak when I walked out, I just needed to get in my car and go home. And I went, got home, I could barely walk from the car to my bedroom. I had basically uh, my friends carry me in. I laid down, didn't even take my clothes off, and I curled up for a few hours um, and just tried to, to suffer through what I think was have just heavy dehydration. And I was able to drink, which I really didn't want to have to do, because, of course, by the time I woke up Saturday morning, my condition was uh, was suffering a little bit of uh, drinking all that fluid, but at least I was feeling better and I was able to eat. And pretty much Saturday, I took all day to dial in. I even I threw in a workout there. Um, I was posing all day to try to rid with the water to come back Saturday night and be a little fuller. I was about three pounds fuller and uh, much, much sharper in, in, on Saturday night. So definitely it was it's a... It was a flatness issue on Friday where I just started to flatten as the time went on. And, and luckily, I was able to, you know, look much better for Saturday night and, and learn from the experience that I just think I overly cut my water and I got a little too dehydrated uh, leading into Friday's show. So it was definitely an experience. It wasn't an easy win for me. And I was definitely pushed to the limit by Branch and, and Phil Heath and Dexter and, you know, all the other guys. But I'm just happy that I came out on top and... I'm happy I came through healthy, really. That was really my main concern, is to, to get through um, the show healthy and be able to, to move on to, to the next round. So, really, the dehydration was so bad. My, Like I said, my concern was just if I was healthy enough to even go back, and I was to the point where I was willing to almost give it up um, if I didn't feel better. Luckily, a few hours later, I came out of it, and I was able to eat and eat and able to, you know, get back to, to my game plan. and But there was a point where I was ready to throw in the towel. I mean, I knew my condition was going to suffer from drinking fluids, and I had no choice. Um, I was just trying to avoid, you know, going to any kind of, um, you know,
know, medical supervision where I needed IVs and that kind of stuff because it was that, to that point where it was that bad. I mean, I even told Robbie that, you know, I even thought about pulling out of the show at one point because I was just scared of what my body was going to do. But luckily that didn't have to happen. And uh, I was able to come back. And I really suffered on Saturday to try to, to bring my body back to its peak, um, which I still don't think I was at my absolute best. I think I could have done much better. I mean, I definitely looked my best leading up to the contest. Everyone saw me even at seven, eight weeks. I was unbelievable. And, you know, I just really, towards the end, I never saw what I saw the last couple weeks out. Um, my body looked unbelievable at two weeks. And, you know, a week and a half in the show, I was looking great. And as I got down there, it seemed like I just, I got a little flatter and I wasn't as grainy and as hard looking as I could have been. And, you know, working with Han, you know, he has a great eye, and he really kind of pushed, you know, well, let's try to get this somehow. And I don't know what's going on with your body, but I just think, you know, just my body might have peaked a little too early, and I just don't know really what, what went wrong. But um, I do feel I could have been better. I ended up being flatter than I was, so my physique appeared to be different. But I know leading into the show, I was still better than ever. Um, and I still think my body was sufficient enough to win, but I just wish I would have been able to show a lot more improvements because my back did improve tremendously in a lot of size. My hamstrings improved a lot from the side. Um, you know, my arms were bigger. Um, my chest was even bigger, but as I get, when I get on stage, you know, a lot with the flatness from the, from the fluid and the dehydration, it just, that didn't show. And my muscles didn't have that pop that they needed to, to have. I had some pop, but not the pop that I had um, leading up to the show. And, you know, of course, now fighting in, you know, that and going into next year, I know for sure I can be much, much better. I'll be back uh, for number five to show um, that I'm still here and still can make those improvements because I did make a lot of improvements. I had a great, great year. I learned a lot. I've been working closer with Hani with training and, and nutrition, uh, different kind of uh, methods that we've been using. And we really wanted to improve my lower back, and I did that. Um, my lats would have much more flair this year, and I just uh, I just wish everything was pushing for the fact that, you know, it, it was a few weeks prior so I could really show those improvements. But, you know, every show can't go as perfectly as planned. Um, I was hoping this one would. And I'm going to show everyone that, you know, I'm going to be the best Mr. Olympia I can, no matter what. And I'm really excited to go into next year now, the show being out of the way almost five days. And uh, I just, I'm getting excited already just thinking about it. And, you know, I have all this time now to, to really um, focus on making even more improvements because I know these other guys are too. And, and uh, I can't really say enough about these uh, these competitors. I mean, Branch looked unbelievable. You know, Phil Heath looked had great improvements. Dexter looked great. Um, I want to congratulate Ronnie Rocco for making the top six. That was an amazing feat. Um, I'm really, really happy for him. And, of course, Dennis Wolf, who trains inside at the same gym as me, um, for him to move back into the top five was just a, a great achievement. I know he's really, really happy. And uh, I really want to send my congratulations to him because I know how important it is for 